Mining rig maker, Kanan, Q1 revenue more than triples. This is interesting because once again, we talk about this all the time. Bitcoin mining is increasing. The hash rate is increasing regardless of the price of Bitcoin. And case in point is hardware manufacturers are still increasing their revenue despite the downturn in, of course, the price of Bitcoin. Canaan shares climbed after first quarter earnings beat one analyst estimates. Supercomputing solutions company Canaan, Can, which specializes in Bitcoin mining hardware, said revenue surges or surged 237% from the year earlier quarter to 213.9 million US dollars. The one analyst cited on Yahoo Finance had forecasted 27.37 million US dollars seeking alpha also with one analyst estimated 213.86 million US dollars. I think this number's wrong here. Net income climbed to 69.7 million US dollars. Earnings per share were 2.7% or 41 cents per ADS, the company said. Seeking Alpha cited an EPAS estimate of 50 cents. The Beijing-based company faced a logistic suspension caused by COVID-19 lockdowns in China, which delayed shipments and adversely affected its revenue for the quarter, said CEO Nanjin Zhang. Zing, something like that. Quote, looking ahead, while we are cognizant of the near-term headwinds, we are confident that our ex uh, extensive experience, increased globalization operations, and execution capabilities put us in a solid position to navigate the current period of uncertainty, end quote, Zhang said. The company held 166.96 bitcoins on its balance sheet as of March 31st. Shares of the company rose about 15% to $3.58 at market open. $3.58. It's I'm so used to always saying like 0.5 billion. Anyways, still 60% below its value a year ago when they were trading around $8.50. Canaan bought $10.3 million worth of its own stock in the quarter, completing a $20 million share repurchase program announced in September of 2021. During the quarter, the company approved a plan to buy up $100 million of its own stock in the 24 months starting March 16, 2022. Now, this is obviously pretty common. This has been going on for a while where these companies are purchasing back buying back, doing stock splits. We've been talking about them for a while. And then the actual mining companies, not the hardware manufacturers like you see here, the, hard, the mining companies that are buying the hardware are getting loans to purchase the hardware from companies like Canaan. The interesting argument here would be that if you see, and this is not financial advice, but if you see the hardware to mine Bitcoin continue to sell and continue to increase on the network, right? Regardless of the price of Bitcoin, to me, it seems like a pretty good purchase at some point, depending on the shares and whatever else to purchase in technology companies, right? Or like manufacturers, the Intels, the AMDs, the NVIDIAs, like all during this bear market, to me, seems like a good idea if you can hold on to it. As you guys know, I prefer revenue, um, but Kanan, uh, Bitmain, whatever those may be, right? At least better than purchasing from like uh, HUD8 or Hive or something like that, right? Purchasing stock from them. For the full year, Kanan posted a $361.2 million profit compared with a $31.5 million loss in 2020. At the Bitcoin conference in Miami in April, the mining machine maker released a new model, the Avalon 1266, which rakes in 100 terahash a second of computing power at 35 joules per terahash of power efficiency. That's less than MicroBT's new What's Miner M50S, which features 126 terahash a second of computing power and 26 joules per terahash efficiency and Bitmain's new S19 XP hybrid that can hit 255 hit terahash a second at 20.8 joules per terahash. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m 
a.m. Eastern time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.